Hey everyone, it's Leon, and today we're going to be checking out all the new monsters they added today. So we got the new Nat 5 uh, Balrona, I guess is how you say it. So we got all those, and then they also added the Thor, which now we understand was on the loading screen for the longest time. It looked really kind of similar to the Shivas, but turns out it's it's a different monster altogether. And that kind of makes sense because they went with the uh, Thor, Odin, and Loki thing. Uh, we'll be checking out all the different ones as well as the Pinolos, is that how you say it? Pinolo? Event that's going on. Everyone's not very happy about it and I can understand why and we'll go into that in a little bit. Alright, so let's start off with the Fire Balrona. Um, I haven't looked at any of these skills yet, so I'm reading them for the first time. So we have HP Siphon on first skill, that's not too bad, that's great for survivability. And then the Elemental Advantage on the 5 star skill, so that's pretty good, I like that quite a bit. She's a balance monster. Um, it would have been nice if she was an attacker, so it would kind of be like a fire version of the Wood Odin, but with the Elemental Advantage uh, on her active instead of the defense break that the Wood Odin would have. But overall, good monster, great attack lead. That's that's wonderful if you could actually get that 40%, the 35 plus 5. That'd be great. Overall, not too bad. I really like her. Next, we're going to be checking out the Water Balrona. This one has the Courageous Strike. Okay. Attacks, uh, attack power proportional to the target's maximum HP. You know, I don't see a whole lot of use for that outside of Titans. Maybe if you were doing Arena or, you know, anything like that, you could use it against HP aggressors, but, you know, even then, you don't see HP aggressors all that often compared to defense aggressors. I don't know, I just question the validity of the skill in general. <laughs> I just don't, I don't think it has very many uses. And with Titan, you know, you, you fight it six times a day, uh, two battles, three battles each. Um, I just, it's hard to see a nat 5 that's only useful for, you know, that one thing. So anyway, Courageous Strike, that's that's alright. And then we have the defense down 80% for two turns, so that's pretty good. You know, I would be interested to get maybe a Water Endra or maybe this Water Balrona or another, at least nat 4 with that Courageous Strike to check out just to see the numbers on it because maybe it's that she scales really well and has great damage um, and then just gets uh, a big chunk of attack power based on you know the target's maximum HP on top of that and maybe it'll work out to be a really good number for wherever you are I don't know all right now we have the wood Balrona so we get the morale boost 50% of own SP when attacking so that's similar to the Water Arthur right now, so not too bad. And instead of getting that attack break like the Water Arthur would get, we get a 60% chance to seal for two turns. So not too bad. If I had to put all of these in order, I would say that I like the Fire one the most, and then I wouldn't mind the Wood one, and then the Water one last, just because I don't know, I, I really don't don't like that courageous strike. So we'll just check out light and dark real quick for maybe the handful of people that will actually get them. The light one has 100% shock for one turn on first skill. To have 100% is amazing. And on top of that, you get the elemental advantage on the active, you know, which is great. It seems like it might be a little bit better for, you know, the regular elements to get it, the fire, wood, and water to have the elemental advantage. Um, but, you know, it works out great for light and dark too because, you know, I guess they technically only have elemental advantage over, you know, each other. Maybe it does work out for the best, but overall, great kit. And lastly, we have the dark Balrana who has the same morale boost skill and uh, the, f the active uh, restores allies HP equal to 10% of own max HP, and she's a tank. So if we look at her base HP at level 60, it is 30,000. So this is disgustingly overpowered. <laughs> if you're able to get a Dark Balrona, then congratulations, you are a real winner. Okay, moving on to Thor's. So Fire Thor, we have two uh, defense break skills with a pretty low percent chance. 
I don't think I like that very much. Yeah, I, I'm not a big fan. Let's check Fire Yuki because I have her. Is hers just as bad? 60%? Yeah. Goodness, I didn't realize the percentage is so low for nat 4s. Okay, well, the only difference is that Fire Yuki here is an attacker, um, but the Fire Thor is a defender. So, And he has a defense leader skill an interesting kit i guess you could build him kind of a bruiser um with the defense breaks on top of you know being a defender and uh and a defense leader skill if you're lucky enough to get that so overall pretty good i, I actually think i kind of like it next we have the water thor 100 percent chance to restore 20 percent of own sp when attacking i i really like those skills and then the active is increased damage dealt by 30 percent so pretty good that's really not all that bad i think the water one looks kind of cool let's look at the variant yeah i like the variant so far i think the water one's my favorite of the three but let's let's check out wood all right so we have courageous strike on the third skill and 100% blind for two turns on the active. I wouldn't build him. I <laughs> None of that is appealing to me. So if I were to rate those, I would say probably I would like the water one the most, uh, second to the fire, and the third one being the wood one. Okay, lastly, we have the Pinolos, or I guess the Pinocchios, once they're Evo 3. So overall, they're, they're Nat 2s, which is weird because you get a higher percent catch rate whenever you're trying to catch them because they're only two star. But if you look at his max stats at level 60, it is so low. He has a great set. Um, attacks restore HP, allies HP equal to 10% of own max HP. So that's literally the same skill as the water Persephone. But if you, I mean, he's even a tank and he only has 11,000 HP max to me or Really, I don't I, I guess I don't really know without building him But if you have a water Persephone if you have a dark jack-o-lantern really even if you have a dark uh, I always forget what they're called dark jelly dark uh, Dark dark jellion. That's what it is. So even if you have a dark jellion, it's still better I think in my opinion it is all of those units are much much better than this one so really i guess if you're a new player and you really need a passive healer you know because they made passive healers so important in this game i would suggest getting him but otherwise if you have any of those monsters really unless you want to get the the astro gems for filling out the the astro guide i really think they're pretty useless all right moving on to the dark one here um whenever i first looked at his skill um, I thought, oh my gosh, this is going to be crazy. This is going to be better than Dark Gatito, um, which I don't have, by the way. Um, but, <laughs> but it's the same case. They have great, great skills here. You're going to have, what, 50? So you have 50% base crit damage. And then you get an extra 50 because it's a dark monster. So you get 100 plus his skills you get 200% critical hit damage in total. Not accounting for any of the crit damage that you're going to get off gems. But the thing is, you're still only working with a base attack of 1100, which is awful. Which is really, really, really awful. So again, you know, if you're new to the game, this might be a, a good monster for you, but I feel like he's gonna drop off pretty quickly in late game. There's a lot of other monsters that can do the job better than the Pinocchios. Okay, and lastly, we have the Wood Pinocchio, which, from my understanding, you have to fuse. I'm still kind of confused on this event just seems so complicated. With the Pinocchios, you, you still have to catch them, but some of them are fake, or I guess most of them are fake, and so I, I, I really don't see myself going for it. So again, we have two skills with Courageous Strike. Not my favorite skill at all, but seeing as how it has two of them, you know, this one would be very good for, you know, Golems B7, uh, any Water Titan, maybe some Arena? I don't know. There's, uh, his stats are significantly better than the other two, 
but he is a three star and the other two are two stars. Like I said, I don't see myself building him, but uh, if, if you wanna go for it for Titans, then uh, more power to you. Okay, so I've spent probably 90 gems, I think this morning farming um, for the light Pinocchio and I have only gotten one fake at this point. I don't, I don't think I used any energy in my inbox yet, but I have gone through 90 gems, which is three refreshes, and I've only gotten one so far. I have seen in chat that people are getting tons of them, but uh, <laughs> maybe I'm just very unlucky because I've just been doing normal mode, which is what I do on any capture event and I've only gotten one so far. So I don't think I'm gonna waste any more gems on this event. If you plan to build any of the Pinocchios, let me know in the comments down below. What do you think about this event? Are you okay with these continuous catching events? Um, we just had the, the, the light and dark Venus, and now we have the Pinocchios. I don't know about you, but I'm getting pretty tired of the same old thing over and over again. Not to mention that we've had only one event going on for the past month or so, and it's about to end and we haven't heard about any more that are going on. So uh, we'll see how this turns out. I still need five more for um, to max out this and, and get the legendary egg. Hopefully I can get that done sooner than later. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Uh, let me know what you're thinking about this event in the comments below and we'll see you in the next video. Alrighty then.